Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to share with you the very scary story about how yesterday we almost lost Hunter. Really quick, a little backstory. Yesterday morning, right around midnight, my wife was awakened sort of mother instinct and she ran with no prompting she ran to our son hunter's room hunter is 21 months so almost two years old she ran to his room to find that he was just laying in bed gasping for air and could not breathe so she picked him up and she ran into me and she said hey start looking up reasons why he can't breathe like what could it be and so we thought croup first off because our other two kids have had croup. And if you know anything about croup, it's it's sort of like where the, the trachea gets a little bit constricted, maybe clogged with some mucus and it makes it hard for kids to breathe. And so the number one thing to do uh, from home is just go into the bathroom, turn on the shower, super hot and let the steam let the kid just breathe the steam up. Uh, we did that to no avail and he's just shaking. He can't breathe and his breath is just kind of <gasps> just could not catch his breath and um, he started he, he looked me in my eyes but it was like he was looking through me so he really lost his character and and like who he was he was just focused on living we hurriedly threw on some clothes and ran out the door I literally at midnight I ran outside uh, I don't even know what shirt I had on like I just jumped in the car, no shoes, and we sped to the emergency room. Got there, they they took him directly to the back. They didn't take our information down or anything. They just took him in, started working on him, gave him some breathing treatments, um, took samples uh, from his nose to see if, if he had a virus. Um, they just started doing tests and they were able to get him breathing solid again. After three steroid breathing treatments and three or four hours of sitting there, they actually decided to transfer us from the local hospital to the regional children's hospital about 35 or 40 minutes away. They had an ambulance come and pick Hunter up, take him to that hospital, and there we stayed from um, about 4.30 in the morning until 5 p.m. yesterday. So a solid 12 to 13 hours in that hospital where they continued to run tests on him, uh, monitor his breathing, monitor, you know, all the vitals and everything. It was a very scary moment. So it actually turned out to be sort of um, a hybrid cause from croup and then um, a virus called RSV. It's respiratory something virus. Um, and so they said what it does is along with constricting the throat, it, um, it causes secretion, a, a mass amount of secretion of mucus and fluids in the throat which causes it to sort of gel up and um, and really make it hard to breathe. You know, the labored breathing continued until at one point while I was holding Hunter, he was taking a breathing treatment and the steroids were starting to loosen up his throat and, you know, raise his heart, his heart rate and helping him breathe better. And then he just, um, he just threw up all over me and his blanket himself and Leona and just, um, not to be gory or graphic, but it was, um, it was a lot of, a lot of throw up and kind of something that just comes along with um, the job. It's definitely a hazard of the job. Uh, we're so thankful to have Hunter back and um, that he's he's getting better. You know, he's still got sort of the raspiness and he um, he's still a little bit labored breathing when he gets excited, but he's on the mend. Uh, to all my friends and family who I reached out to, to, uh, you know, pray and send good thoughts and, and, and think about and like encouragement, Thank you for that. I have no doubt that those things and those people made a tremendous impact on Hunter's life and his recovery. And um, we're looking forward to going from here.
super scary moment, but we got past that. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, uh, subscribe and like, and, and maybe you'll get to see some other insane stuff that happens in our life. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.